farmers are stewards of the land. But it's also important that we recognize that we are going into an environment that is shared by other species. So it's important for us to, uh, to make room for that species. If you look at this float, when it's in the down position, it'll tell the pump to start. And when you can save something for a species that may be at risk, and create a, an environment that they'll flourish, be able to reproduce and whatnot. That, that's a benefit too. When beef producers manage their grass to make sure that it's healthy, we see all these other species come in, both plants and animals. And, and that's why it's such a win-win, is, is that they're managing to their environment and to their context. And, and we're not the experts in that. We're not the experts in grass management. We're the experts in, in conservation and keeping that as grass and, and keeping those wetlands as wetlands. And so that's why I think it's such a great partnership. I see the cows keeping invasive species down. I see the cows bringing a diversity of species. The bees and the butterflies that come to this farm because I let the alfalfa bloom, it's like a succession. They move the same time the cows move. The land that I own cannot grow a carrot. The land that I own cannot grow anything but grass. And it, it shouldn't, that's not what it's suited to grow. But what it does a good job of is growing grass. And we have these amazing things, these amazing tools called cows that can roam around on that grass and take this fibrous, cellulose material grass that we can't eat and we can't use and turn it into a high quality protein. As Canada's food and pharmacy leader, we play an important role in bringing positive environmental and social change, both nationally as well as in the communities that we live and work. We have made some major commitments, such as reducing our food waste 50% by 2025, as well as reducing our carbon footprint 30% by 2030. It's getting it back to nature. Everyone who wants us to do things um, with less impact to the environment and and uh, and do the best for fossil fuels and for animal welfare. Well, that's what we've done here, and and the other guys involved with the Canadian Roundtable for Sustainable Beef. I've always had a passion for this. I wanted to do this since I was old enough to want to do something. Probably my biggest passion here is feeding cattle, and I guess we need to be good at cropping to grow good feed to continue to feed cattle. With the amount of manure that we can put back out on our land. It, it makes it very sustainable. The crops that we're growing now are just as good or better than they've ever been, and we've been here yeah. 70 years. When we first started farming, we didn't have any worms on our farm. You could dig all over our property and you'd never find an earthworm. And after we got cattle and they started to graze, now you can dig anywhere and you find all kinds of worms. It's reinforcing that you're putting nutrients back in the land and that nutrients is being picked up by nature. We're very fortunate here in Prishon. We do have a really good working relationship with the Department of Agriculture provincially and they have an excellent uh, group of uh, soil engineers. We have soil conservation plans on all of our properties. We have a lot of uh, farmable berms. They divert the water to certain places so we don't so we can control where that water goes and we leave that grass, we don't farm it. So it's always got a nice cover crop on it. So there's no there's no red soil exposed to uh, exposed to heavy rainfall. As we look to uh, to protect lands and work on a cooperative basis and and allow grazing of certain landscapes and manage it for biodiversity so that the outcomes are beneficial to all of us, to both of us. I think our interests are very much aligned. And I think we recognize that, that so many ranchers and agricultural producers love the land too and they want to pass it on for generations to come and we want to see that kind of thing happen as well. So I think our interests are very much aligned in seeing that you've got a landscape that, that is beneficial for them from an economic perspective and beneficial to all of us from an environmental perspective and I think we can work together jointly to do that.